okay and then uh, you may also calculate the water quality index or we call it as wqi okay this is water quality index so you will be using certain values of um, parameters okay you have to measure certain parameters and then you obtain the index for it just like you are measuring the air pollution index um, you know sometimes during the hazy time people were saying uh, the air pollution index is 219 is that good or is that not good okay or uh, 400 500 so once it's, it reaches 500 it's like a category the category is emergency category okay and those kind of things so for water quality index also you will be obtaining numbers so how do you calculate the numbers okay so how do you calculate the water quality index so by that value so let's say you got you obtain 95 is that good or is that bad or if you have water quality index to be 20 is it good or is it bad is it good to have water quality index a small number of water quality index or high number of water quality index which one is better the higher the better, the higher, the better. is it yeah. But for air pollution index, the higher is the worse. We want it to be very small. So are you sure that having a high number of water quality index would be better? Yes, we agree. Yes, okay. So yes, it is, okay. So basically to calculate the water quality index, so this is the formula that you do not have to memorize. You will be given in the exam, okay. Okay, so this is the formula of water quality index. 0 0.22 times sub-index of DO, dissolved oxygen, plus 0 0.19 sub-index of BOD, plus 0 0.16 sub-index of COD, plus 0 0.15 sub-index of ammonical nitrogen, and suspended solid, and also the sub-index of the pH. So this is the formula. So there are six parameters to be considered in calculating our W Q I. Right, so once you have already obtained the value, it has to be between 100 to 0. So let's say if you got greater than 100, that means you have done your calculation wrongly. Or if you have a negative number, again, you have done very, very wrong things. Okay, so anything that greater than 90, 90 to 100 is class 1. And 80 to 90 is class 2. And 80 to 50, basically 50 to 80 is class 3. 50 to 40 is class 4. And below 40s, the value of WQI is class 5. So you can see the usage that is suitable for class 1, class 2. What is suitable? Okay, suitable for all sports, for fish and so on. And let's say for class 5, it's only suitable for navigation. Okay perkapalan and so on okay so these are the water quality index so a little bit of calculation so this is the formula okay okay so what when they say that the do sub index of do so how do we get the sub index of do we look at this table so this is the do right let's say it says that the do is seven milligram per liter okay am i too fast no okay everyone can still understand okay if you see you know you are measuring or you are doing analysis of a river you check the do you basically you have the, this kind of thing okay uh, and then this is this is a do probe okay imagining you have a glass over here i have paper cup like this okay so this is your water and then you this is your do you probe it and get the reading of the oxygen so let's say seven milligram per liters so what you need to do, you look at the equation here. It says if the X, oh sorry, the se 7 milligram per liter and 7 is the DO. 7, you have to times with this value, 12.6577. Let's say 7 times 12 is 84, right? Am I right? 7 times uh, 12 is 84, okay? 84 is definitely not smaller than 8. So 84 is greater than 8. That means the sub-index of DO is this value plus 
0 0.03 times 84 squared minus whatever this thing is times 84 cubed. Okay, and that is for the O. And let's say your BOD is 25. So look at this formula, uh, less than 25. Less than 5, you use this formula. Greater than 5, you use that, uh, this formula. So if your BOD is 25, so you use this formula, put it in your equation and obtain your sub-index of BOD and plug it into this equation and eventually you will get your water quality index. Right, guys. Okay, so I like you guys to do a little bit of mathematical exercises. So I have a question for you. So I want you to determine the WQI for this particular river. Okay, please do that. The right answer is 66.217, whichever way that you like to look at it. Okay.